So what is your specialty? What are you paid to do? If you're a lawyer, it's billable hours lawyering. If you're an accountant, it's accounting. If you're a salesperson, it's selling. If you're a leader, it's leading. Everything else is not your specialty and you shouldn't be doing it. Hire someone who is, as I did recently. So during the creative process of designing some wickedly cool movie-like trailers for an upcoming event, I came across the trailers of a particular movie. I fell in love with the music, so I downloaded it on my Mac Air. After struggling for 30 to 40 minutes trying to get it transferred to my main computer, which syncs to my gym iPod, I quickly realized, well, soon would have been sooner than 30 to 40 minutes of my life lost trying to do something I don't get paid to do, I finally concluded that it was out of my specialty. I popped on Craigslist and posted the need for a specialist. Sean, an actual full-time Apple Care tech who moons light, who moon, who moons light on the side, quickly responded and he was soon standing in my home office right next to me. I told him what I wanted and then he told me all the things I didn't even know I wanted. He spent two hours waving his magic Apple wand over all my stuff, things I might have been able to figure out after 30 hours of cursing and banging fists on desks and panic 911 calls to Apple Care, and then still having to have a guy like Sean come over and fix what I broke, then start on my wants. I now have remote, worldwide access to a collective repository of all my media that all my family has ever generated or will generate instead of different bits of content on different devices spread everywhere. It's now, it's now all elegantly auto-synced and remote controlled from our iPhones and iPads, and which now streams beautifully throughout our houses located on separate coasts. That's what a specialist can do. He tried to explain to me what he did and I simply said, hey, Sean, love you, man, but I don't need to know how the watch works. I just need to know it does. And the simple user functions of setting it, winding it, and who to call when it breaks. The how is why you're the specialist. You see, nurses shouldn't be ordering supplies. There are specialists for that. A lawyer shouldn't be trying to fix her own computer. There are specialists for that. Business owners shouldn't be trying to do their own accounting. There are specialists for that. I'd argue as a high achiever, and you don't have to start there, but you should be working towards getting here, you shouldn't be booking your own travel, shopping, doing laundry, washing your cars, picking up the cleaning, mowing your lawns, fixing fences, building bookshelves, hanging pictures, scrubbing toilets, or even changing light bulbs, moving boxes, setting up decorations, and the like. There are specialists for that. Unless any of those things are things that you really enjoy and would pick them as a personal recreation or hobby, doing it just for the fun of it, hire a specialist instead. Stick to your specialty. Stick to what you get paid for and surround yourself with specialists for everything else. You'll be more insanely productive and your life will, that, that you'll get a chance to live will be far more insanely great.